What's up, wrestling fans, trading card collectors? Welcome to another episode of Wrestling With Cards. Oh no, it's another one of those videos not talking all about wrestling cards. No! Well, for those of you who do want to stick around and still have some fun, get ready to take a trip with me back to the 80s and a little bit of the 90s. Today, we're headed to Retromania in Branson, Missouri. Most of you watching my channel for any length of time know how much I love Branson, or if you're following me on social media, links to all that in the show notes. But I love Branson. It's just a cool, interesting place. And along with Branson, I love the 80s and I love the 90s. And for a lot of you watching my channel, you remember that the 80s and 90s were not only the biggest booms of professional wrestling that we've seen, but also some of the biggest booms and other pop culture things that we've yet to see since. Let's not waste any more time. Let's jump in that DeLorean and hit back to the 80s. Retromania is located on 76 Country Boulevard in Branson, Missouri. It features a ton of props and artifacts from the past, mostly from the 80s, but there are some items from before and after. There are autographs and props spread throughout the building, the whole place is basically an 80s and nostalgia museum. They have several movie-themed escape rooms, which I wasn't able to try, but they look really cool. There are several arcade and pinball machines, and of course, you know, I had to go after the ones that had the wrestling games. Retromania also features a movie theater, which while I was there was playing one of the Bill and Ted movies. They have a black light mini golf course that's included with your admission. And it's a smaller course, but it's very difficult. And it features a lot of rock music, memorabilia, theming, and music that plays throughout. They also feature a haunted house. And while I do not like haunted houses because I absolutely hate jump scares, I was committed to putting myself through that thing for reasons I don't know. No real people and featured animatronics of 80s slasher villain icons that you would come to know. They also had a restaurant and a bar inside, but I wasn't able to check that out. I hope you all enjoyed coming with me on our journey back into the 80s and 90s going to Retromania in Branson, Missouri. I hope it was able to stir up some of that nostalgia and some of those good feelings that you had growing up in the 80s and the 90s. Because again, nostalgia is such a driver for some of the fun things that we like to do, participate in, and within wrestling. I mean, some of the biggest wrestling moments and memories for some of us collectors are things from the 80s and 90s. And even though there wasn't a ton of wrestling, little to any wrestling actually, in this place, which was, you know, we got to talk to them about that. We've got to get a whole wrestling wing in this place going. But despite that, it was still part of pop culture, just like wrestling was, all this stuff tying in together. Who doesn't love nostalgia? If you had a good time today reliving some of the simpler times of growing up in the 80s and 90s, give me a like, hit that subscribe button. And before you get out of here, leave a comment. What is your favorite thing of today's video? What did you see in it that you thought was cool? What is your favorite thing about the 80s and 90s that wasn't wrestling involved. I know as a wrestling card channel, it's a little bit hard to sometimes take wrestling out of the equation, but there are other things in life that also bring us happiness and joy and fun and good times. And when you're done leaving a comment letting me know what you enjoyed from the 80s, check out all the links in the show notes for ways you can help show your support for my content. Links to the eBay store, Patreon, the podcast, social media, and much more. And until next time, click the videos on the screen for more great wrestling card content and who knows what other kind of content's going to be out there. We'll see ya.